Thanks for uh, it's the Adam. Whew. It's Adam Fuckland show. It's Adam Fuckland show. <laughs> welcome, w welcome to the Fuck Nation. Fuck Nation. <sighs> How you doing? Pretty good. It's a big day for me. It's gonna be a painful day for me, but why? Sports. Oh, uh, sports. You're going to Knicks game. No, I'm going. I'm going to. The old Knicks. I'm gonna go watch um, the Knickerbockers. The soccer team in London that. What I is balking? Balking? Yeah. It sounds. Sounds like an old. It sounds like jelking, like an old form of yeah. balking yourself off or something. He, well, yeah, back in the 1800s, you're like, oh, that girl's just real knickerbocker. Yeah, she gets with black. I mean, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. They did. Knickerbockers are pants. I thought it was the hospital from the show. The Nick. I thought that the team was named. I thought that hospital was real. You thought it was a real thing? I thought the whole show was real. That show is so good. We're like the only two people that watch that show and that actively evangelize that show. It's an amazing it's show. It's so good. It's really good. I might rewatch it. I like that he was doing sniz the whole time. Yeah. I like that it was only one season. Yeah. There's I like two that, seasons. I thought it was just one. Two? Do? Yeah. I thought you said you loved the show. I, I watched it like literally it's seven years ago, maybe. And welcome to they the latest segment of Adam's Lies. The Nick. Um, you like it because it's called The Nick. Right. I thought it was for me. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is all going to be about me. And then I watched it and it was. Yeah. I've Th always done. That's surgery. how I felt when I watched Black Adam. I'm in bed doing all kinds of crazy surgeries all day long. Yeah. They were shooting at, if you remember, when I first moved to New York, I was staying at Eric's that week. Um, and they were shooting around the corner at that school. Mm -hmm. And that's what they had. Uh, that was the exterior of the hospital. Also, you know the girl, you know who, the girl in the Nick. Is, is that the Brooklyn School for Boys? Yeah, I think that's Sounds the ominous. Yeah. If it was 1880 and my parents were like, we're sending you here, I'd be like, please just send me to work in a factory. No. You know that the, nothing no. good happens there. Tri triangle shirt waist, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> please. Let me get burned to death by the Monopoly man. I think tri triangle shirt, shirt waist factory, was that only chicks were working there? Yeah, that's, what, that's why it's so cool. They couldn't, they yeah. couldn't handle being factory boys. They're like, oh, I'm on fire. Do you remember when we were factory boys for a couple of weeks? A day. I think it was a seasonal employment situation. Yeah. No, it was a week. It was a week. We worked on that David Yerman project. Yeah. At that fabrication studio. The jewels. The jewels. Yeah. yeah. We were we were doing window displays for uh, for a, for jewelry. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad I wore the sunglasses. I'm knocked on my ass today. Why? I didn't sleep well. Well. The, the cat pissed all over the bed. You got more cats now. Yeah. Cat You're pissed. like Mark Marin. Yeah. What do you mean? I hate it when people say that. Because it's gay to have cats. And I take that back. It's not... I don't mind being gay. I just don't want to be Mark Maron. It's not gay. Marin. I wouldn't... We, I, we, I, I don't want to talk that I way. I want to be me. I want to be my own guy. But cats is just... Come on. I want to be like an anime character. Is that a cat thing? No, but they're their own guys. Oh, you, well, you want to be kind of more Nobody like... Nobody ever accuses an anime character of being a different anime character. Yeah, they do all the time. No. No one... No one's like, no one goes to Luigi and they're like, you're just fucking, dude, this is just Mario. I don't think that's anime. You just fucking ripped off Mario. I think there's a guy who just broke his keyboard because you No one accuses Luigi Mario of, of Luigi of ripping off Mario. Do you Mario. remember that line in Akira? I've never seen Akira. Where he's like, you're being just like Ash Ketchum right now. Did he say that? I've yeah. never seen Akira. You haven't seen it? No. It's like, the, it's badass. I've never seen an anime that is good or I liked. Uh, neither have I. It's for babies. It's yeah. cartoons. Yeah. Akira is cool. Yeah. Yeah. What's it about? It's the one anime that everyone sees. Mm -hmm. It's, I don't know, some guy like, you know, then they go Super Saiyan and the fighting and he's got a motorcycle. I think I have an ear infection also. Why? From no, swimming? My, my ear hurts. Really? Yeah. What are your plans for the summer, Nick? I don't know. I'll go to the ear doctor. I get my ear checked out. Nice. Now I can't hear out of it. Well, I guess I you, always have, you, should, you always have ailments. Yeah, that's life. When, when I moved here... It felt okay, and then I stuck my finger in there, and now it hurts. Yeah, if you, you pierced your eardrum? No, I just stuck my finger in there, but it's so itchy. Is it true that boxing one's ears means that you, like, cup... You take two cups, and you smack it, and yeah. then both eardrums explode? Yeah, and then they're deaf. That's, what, they're knicker, deaf that's what knicker boxing is. That's what they used to do in the 1800s. Yeah. 
That was a job you could have is going around. That was like the number one New York pastime. It was going I, around deafening people. I wish I went to school in the time when um, if, you were, if you were acting naughty, they made Put you a wear hat. A, the hat. Yeah. <laughs> the dunce cap. We should bring that back, but it should be a goofy hat from Disney World. Yeah. Then those bad boys will really learn. Mm-hmm. Now you want to act out in class? Well, now you're a fucking goofy, the dog. Now you're a goofy. Now you're a... Uh, I think I might. I think I might have like an infection or something. In your ear? Yeah, I'm feeling like feverish now and dizzy. I feel, might. I might throw. Let up. me feel your cap. I think it might be a little warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, rectal. Can we? Rectal. Well, that's how you get the most accurate temperature. All right. Let me just. Can you just read? I don't want to pull my. Your ass, ass is literally your crack is. You literally have plumber's crack right now. I mean, we we're you taking this stick too your far. Finger in my ass. Respond to that. What do you mean you won't respond? Your to Apple that? Watch is talking now. Yeah. Stay out of this. This is our thing. It always listens in at the most embarrassing moments. It's so embarrassing that Apple Watch heard us talking about. I was like, mm -hmm. that I was gonna put. I was gonna figure. That just gets you. sent to a guy at Apple, and he's like, oh, they're not gonna believe this. A couple of nights ago, Stephen, Stephen and I were very drunk, and he said, I, I think I have a tumor. He's like, can you check it out? And then he, like, pulled his pants down, and he made me feel his ass cheek. And I was like, I don't know. It's, maybe you should have, I, like, was, like, poking around his ass. He's like, not there, not there. And I'm, like, literally, like, like uh, grabbing his ass. And then I was like, oh, I guess I feel it. And, so, and he's like, so what do you think? And I was like, I don't know, go to a doctor. It was, it, and literally was no one else was there. for real or is he just tricking you and touching his ass? Either way, it's fine by me. Dave, can you do me a favor and bring me the Q-tips? Yeah. Thank you. Just Dave, stand, can stand you give me a glass line. of water too? I two glasses of water and all of the Q-tips. Okay. okay. So interesting development. And can you get me, Dave, can you get me uh, uh, my, special, my special pills? Um, you, you got pills? Yeah, Quaaludes. Are you getting any Quaaludes? No, you can't find them anymore. Oh, they stopped making I've them. always wanted to, because to, they sound cool in movies. In the 1970s, everyone was on ludes in movies. That was like a big joke. <sighs> they'd be like, what do you want? Like in Woody Allen movies, they'd be like, what do you want? Ludes? Yeah. You know? But if they stopped making them. And uh, apparently they, in South Africa, they still have them. I should have found Ludes when I was there visiting my grandmother. Yeah, I feel like I need to get back in bed. Really? But it's filled with cat piss. So what are you going to do? I don't know. You're going to go back to the couch? Yeah. After your whole thing of actually getting in bed for the first time in your adult life? No, I got two sets of sheets. It'll be fine. And the mattress protector. Oh, my God. Dave, you're, so, you're fabulous. That's insane to me. I don't care. She probably doesn't want us discussing it on the show, but I'm going to say it anyways. But you know Dasha bought a, a $17,000 mattress? A Hastings? She bought some $17,000 mattress. Drake has one of those. Drake has the half a million dollar one. Well, she told me she bought it. And then it's also like, it's like a full-size bed. <laughs> it's not a queen? No. She got like a twin bed, a $17,000 yeah. twin mattress. Dude. And then, and then... She told me she doesn't use a mattress protector. Really? Yeah. I'm like, you're insane. So she just smokes crack on a raw $17,000 mattress? Yeah. Oh, there you go. See? There's stuff coming out of there. Dave, can we get close on the stuff coming out of my ear? What? It's white. Yeah. Isn't it supposed to be yellow? I think it's white if you have an infection. Really? Yeah. Dave? White blood cells. Dave? Can you get one of those old school doctors that comes to you? To arrive by the end of this episode? With the purse? Yeah, with the purse. The purse. For and Nick? The, the shiny thing on his head? Yeah, can you get with the metal thing on his head? Yeah, get the guy from the Nick. This really hurts. Don't do it, dude. It's, that, that, it's apparently not good. What, Q-tipping? I mean, it feels good, but then you, like, push it more in. You know what used to be my spa day? I was going to urgent care and asking them to put stool softener in my ears. <laughs> they, they'll just do that? Right? Yeah. They'll fucking... They, They'll, because uh, my ears would get, I, I guess I get ear allergies. I don't really get congested, but my ears fill up with wax. And you can go, and they, uh, they lay on your side, and they fill your ear with, like, uh, like, warm water and sometimes, like, a dish soap or something and stool softener. And then uh, they just sit in there for, like, 15 minutes in the dark, and then they come back out, and then they, like, flush it out, and they use tweezers, and sometimes they'll pull, like, a fucking... Like this big tube of wax out of like your Like a ear. nugget. Like yeah. a big, like, gold nugget. Right. And then I eat it. 
It's good for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I would like to eat it, please. It's kind of like a alpha male. Did yeah. you text us? Huh? Dave? No, no, no. DM? Yeah, yeah. It's not Dave. I thought Dave was going to say, Adam, your penis is out or something. Um, I keep my penis tucked for the show, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Tucker penis. Tucker penis. That's the thing is like, I've probably said it before, but that's why he's probably so anti-trans. Because mm-hmm. his name is Tucker. Yeah. Now I asked, I did Lewis's show yesterday. And the Real Ass Podcast? Yeah. I was, you, did, he, did he name you Real Ass Guy of the Week? No. No, I, I, th- I think I did pretty bad. I don't think I can riff anymore. It's weird being on a show like that, which I haven't done in a while. Yeah. Where there's like a pressure to like, blah, 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 blah. Because we've done this thing, which is just so um, lazy and on drugs that I... We're not on drugs. I don't know why people think we're on drugs. No, they're really going to think we're on drugs. Because we're defending it? Yeah. <laughs> we're, I'm not on drugs! <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's, the, that's how you know someone. I'm on, I'm on a, cl- a 24-hour Claritin D, though. The one you have to sign your name for. Because mm-hmm. you can make meth out of it. Walter yeah. White you style. See, you see a girl, a Jewish girl with big tits. You're like, this is a pair of Claritin double Ds over there. Man. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. See, now you're back. That was a riff. I guess. That yeah. was a good riff. Oh, man, I could feel it. Yeah, there's like a huge... There's a huge chunk in there. Let's see, cause does, Dave, does this pick up? Uh, if I put this in my ear, can you hear this? It's the ocean. Uh, yeah, gross. Yeah, can you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, remember who signs your checks, okay? Show a little respect. Did you just lick your wax? I'm eating it. No, you do it for real? I thought that was a bit. No. You don't have to demean yourself for the audience like that by eating... You, I mean, it's like a, I guess it's like an Andrew Tate thing, but... Oh, it is like, it's like a, I eat raw liver and... Well, it's like eating your own boogers and your wax. Your boogers, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the new alpha thing, well, eating boogers. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, well, that's why girls are like, that's gross, because it's irresistible to them. Oh, because it's like the pheromones or some shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's a huge chunk in there. Oh, Nick, what are you... <laughs> Come on, man. I'm sorry. I got a big day for me today. It's going to be a really sad day. For the, I'm watching the sports thing. At three. <laughs> Go ahead. Eat it. Try it. I'm not going to do this. Just I'm, try it. I'm just 30, it. I just turned 36. Just try it. I'm telling me it's not good. Just do it. Eat it. Just eat it. No, don't put it, just eat it, please. Please. Would you please just eat it, please? My know. ear really hurts. Will it, make, will it make you feel better? Yes. I mean, it's not that much. Yeah, just eat it. No, Nick, it's really fucking disgusting. Oh, look, uh, we're not going to turn this into a whole thing. Either you, you can eat the earwax or, or not. We can move on. It's fine. I'm not going to demand anything of you. I'm not going to guilt trip you either. I feel like you already are. No, it's fine. Now it feels like it's spreading. What is? Now you're picking whatever. your nose? But it's earwax in there. It's not boogers. It's fine. You get earwax in your nose? It's the same tube. I'll do it if you want me to. I would like it if you ate the earwax. Thank you. It would like mean literally it w- third grade. It would I'm like <laughs> literally getting paid a dollar to eat, to eat the, in the cafeteria. <laughs> it would mean a lot to me if you ate the earwax. Please. You mean that? Please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to the Knicks game? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't eat it. That was a trick. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> I thought it was a serious talk show. It's not. This is the retro style podcast. Yeah, I know. It feels better. It sometimes. feels a lot better. It just, takes all the pressure off. We can just have a nice, easy podcast, talk about... Do an easy podcast and then pour our souls into this. By the way, our folks, souls. we have a, a, a couple things. Oh, this weekend I'm going to be in Portland, Oregon, uh, eating boogers and earwax. 
<laughs> at Helium Comedy Club. Read my dates too. Also. Thursday, the what is it? Let me see. Thursday the twenty sixth. Twenty seventh tomorrow. 27th. Thursday the twenty seventh till the twenty ninth. I'll be at Helium Comedy Club, and um, also I will be. Uh, fuck. I was fucking fuck this up. In San Jose, May 18th, 19th, and 20th. In Austin, Texas, June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And then Nick, where do I go? Mole.dog? Mole.dog slash live dash shows. Well, that's a really easy URL to remember. It is. Mole.dog live shows. Nick will be May 12th through 13th at the Pittsburgh Improv Great Club. 19th in Charleston, South Kakalaka. With and that's with that, that's the big that's the big tour the the arena the Coliseum with big they're playing J. arenas Big J Okerson and well they I I'm just coming with basically but it'll you're be, like should the, be a fun show you're like the roadie yo we're doing a blue collar comedy tour sort of thing oh so nice we all do sets and then yeah. we have then afterwards we go to Victoria's Secret in the mall really yeah and then Larry the cable guy buys a fart machine at Spencer's and goes around pranking people who have yeah. no reaction to the fart machine whatsoever. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? <laughs> it's so funny. Just him being like, Dude, oh, really that, wanna, that thing, fucking magic. I really want to watch He's it. He's going now. around and he's like pretending to fart and people are just like, <laughs> they have like 10 people and none of them react in any way. No, none of them are like, gross. They're just <laughs> staring at him. We'll watch videos later. Dude, when you search Larry the Cable Guy fart, there is so much content <laughs> on the internet. Yeah. From his album, The Jacksonville Fart Co- Contest. Yeah. Um, 1997. But I tell you what, I would trade it all to be that guy. Is it a menage a trois if you're making love to your girlfriend and the dog licks your butthole without you? <laughs> I, I ain't done that. I'm just asking if it would be. <laughs> I ain't done that. I'm just asking there. Maybe. Sorry, Larry. It would be a, a, a Marmaduke art, uh, artois. Dude, his uh, his his album is called Salutations and Flatulations. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. a really good name. Mm, salutations and Flatulations. Walking farts. A lot of people have done that bit. I'm sorry, Larry. I'm yeah. sorry, Dan. Mm-hmm. Larry the Cable Guy Health Inspector fart scene. Larry the Cable Guy uh, Salutations Flatulations yeah. full. How about Jared, the subway guy? I graduated from the academy. Really want to get out in the field and prop. <laughs> Jared, the subway guy. <laughs> you ever fart so hard your back cracks? <laughs> oh man, I gotta get out of here. Good Lord Jesus and Dale Earnhardt Jr. I am a dad gum ticking time bomb. <laughs> I can't see what's going on. That was an entire scene of a movie. Larry the Cable Guy health inspector. How about Jared the subway guy? Okay. And he's, he's like, like, you ever eat a sandwich? Yeah. You ever have a sandwich before? Yeah. You ever have so many sandwiches that you fucking your pants get bigger? Get her, get her ch- child. Get yeah. her underage. Get, get her, her, get her sweet onion chick, chicken or teriyaki. Get her, get her, <laughs> get her five dollars. Veggie, get her veggie delight. Get her. <laughs> And Jared the subway guy. That's pretty good. Yeah. My ear just keeps hurting more and more. How are we going to get your mind off it? I thought if I ate your... No, it's all right. We'll just keep doing this. I'll go to urgent care after and I'll get my ear spa treatment done. Oh, my God. It'll be amazing. You yeah. know what you should do? You should bring your... I shouldn't. Own. I really shouldn't have stuck my finger in there. I knew this would happen. I told you. But you didn't tell me before I did it. Ah, oh, it's so itchy. Uh, you know what would be good is if you um, go to urgent care and they're doing the... Continue. I'm listening. I have the other ear. I can hear you. Um, Yeah, you bring your own cucumbers. To go to urgent care? Yeah, you put them over your eyes while they're um, flushing your ears out. I thought you meant like an entire cucumber. Like it's a day at the spa. Yeah. I thought you meant an entire cucumber to pair with the earwax. No, you put on like a a cream face mask. To put the earwax on a cucumber and then... No, that's disgusting. They pull it out of my ear. I'm like, do you have any rosemary and olive oil triscuits? No one would eat. Cucumber. What do you mean no one would eat cucumber? Uh, I mean earwax. What? Why? Because it's nasty to do that. Yeah. Can't believe I did that. So, <clears throat> chat GPT is in the news. So, chat, yeah, it's really blown up. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, so people, people think that 50% um, of jobs are going to be eliminated yeah. because of this. I don't, I, don't, I don't buy it. I don't think. I think people are going to reject this thing. I think people are going to rise up and they're going to reject this thing. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to say no more. Mm -hmm. People are going to say we've had enough. And yeah. they're, they're going to say we had enough. We've had, we've had enough. And they're going to say no more. Yeah. No more. I, um, that's the bottom line. I actually have confession to make. Yeah. I know I talk about my girlfriend a lot on the show, but I've been dating ChatGPT. You have? Um, Isn't ChatGPT a guy? No, it's a chick. Oh, is it? It's like Siri? Well, recently found out last night she's cheating on what, me. What's the deal with Richard Milhouse Nixon? Simpsons. Right. That's always seemed weird to me. Yeah. Was this guy, was, uh, I would, if you told me that there was never a president in, and they made him up for the Simpsons, mm -hmm. I'd believe it. Sorry, I'm, this is, it does hurt a lot. So I recently found out that... Um, Chad, she's cheating on you. She's cheating on me. With who? With, um, with, with a black guy named Chad GPT. With Ask Jeeves. With Ask Jeeves. A British, a British inter, inter, interloper, mm -hmm. British interloper. Yeah. Um, Ask Jeeves was the original chat GPT kind of. Yeah. Yeah. A British guy who would answer all of your questions. Only Jeeves. Yeah. <laughs> this is, podcast has become body horror. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> it's like David Cronenberg yeah, podcast. My head is, feels like it's swelling right now. I just kind of want to get back to the Mario and Luigi thing. That was my big... So, what was it that... No one accuses Luigi of copying Mario. Well, they have the same outfit, just a different color. I know, but no one ever points that out. They have the first letter on their name, yeah. on their hat. Nobody's like, this guy's just ripping off Mario. Well, I would assume that they're brothers. Okay, they Wario. What? Wario. Cousin. They're not cousins. How do you know? There's just, there's other, there's the only other guys that live in that uh, town of mushroom people. Are there other guys in that? No. In that world? No. The women are all normal people. Hot chicks. Yeah. Princesses. The, the men are all a different race, it seems, almost. Yeah, but the women are all, like, cheating and then acting like, accusing Bowser of uh, kidnapping and raping them, but clearly yeah. just getting piped down by Bowser. Well, I was like, why didn't you call the police? And she's like, I don't, I don't, the, I don't want to cause any trouble. They, they would make me, my entire sexual history would become to, a matter of public record. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that what you heard on Murder, she wrote? Yeah. That's not the way the yeah, real yeah. world works. Clearly, she was just going to Bowser's fucking spooky castle. Yeah. And just getting absolutely rammed up. Yeah. When yeah. was the last time you had string cheese? Uh, this weekend. Really? Yeah. Did and you? I hadn't had it in a couple of years. Have you ever seen somebody... And no one's ever talked about this on a podcast before. Bite the whole thing. It pisses me off. It's infuriating. Yeah. It's really fucked up. It's disgusting. You got to eat it like earwax. Pull off But you know what? I don't buy that. I think it's for attention. What? I think people do that to be like, it's like the kind of people that say, oh, actually opening oh, like the banana I'm, look at me the every, top. Look at me, everyone. I'm the cheese bastard. Yeah, yeah. I don't play by your fucking rule. I'm the joker. I just yeah. eat cheese. What was that you said about bananas? It's like people that open a banana from the top. You know the people that are like, actually the right way to open a banana is from the bottom? No. How can you even do that? I don't know. The apes do it. Apparently. No, they don't. If you've watched the ape, I, 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 and nobody fact checked me on this, but I, I'm... I, the first time I saw a monkey eat a banana, I was so excited. I'm like, oh, this is... We're watching history in the making. Um, uh, they don't peel it. They just fucking squeeze it like a, like a toothpaste tube. And then they just lick where the banana has, like, come out of the tube. They really are stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I mean, like, I don't like to be racist to other people. But I'm racist to pretty much every animal. Yeah, not all of them. Some of them are cool. No, we are the sickest ones. Yeah. We're so sick. And this is going to be an extremely racist thing to say. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm... <laughs> people talk about racism towards other people Do in you your think, race. But what about... Do you think... 
the human race. So, well, you know how octopuses... They what other race is good? Octopuses have their own type of intelligence. Right, that's what they say. But they're, like, down there being nasty, not having bones. No, they're just, like, collecting stuff. <laughs> they're like, yeah, fucking, yeah. ooh, what's that, a Funko Pop? Yeah, yeah. yeah, they just love getting things and bringing it to their beak. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, their whole, their, whole brain, their whole body is a brain. Mm-hmm. The whole thing is, like, there's no, I guess, central nervous system. Mm-hmm. But they are smart, you know. They can like climb on boats and go into where they keep the crabs and things. Yeah, the they're crabs super out. intelligent. They have yeah. feelings and stuff. They say. But we don't understand it. Their intelligence evolves so separately from ours that it's like a different kind of intelligence. Mm-hmm. Now the racist part. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, I, I'm, I know this guy's French. Yeah, and um, one of the dumbest animals alive. No, but he's human race. I, I bang with him because oh, he's really? human. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, my new thing is that I'm I, that I, I'm a human supremacist. Why are they all burning down Paris right now? Because they have to like work one, one more shows? hour a week or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they love the... protests there. Yeah, yeah. They when I was there, they were having the. Yeah, how about why didn't, why didn't you protest the Nazis? Yeah, they. That's they the one time. That. Oh, well, well. That's well, the may- one time they didn't. Actually, maybe this time uh, yeah. Paris isn't burning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe That's this the one th- time they weren't like liberté, yeah. fraternité. Right. Yeah. Uh, finally, people gayer yeah. than us. <laughs> 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 finally, there are gayer people in France. Yeah. <laughs> Just Nazis coming through. We've we won. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they won. Yeah. <laughs> we won the world. <laughs> we, the we one concession where we will give up all the land and not be the gayest people. We in are Europe. the second gayest. Um, but he, he like uh, I guess his parents have like a vacation house like by the what are Mediterranean or something. Mm-hmm. And he invited some of some other folks there. And he's like he was telling them this story. Like he's like every morning I go out with a um, with a harpoon. And I hunt the octopus, and then we have fresh octopus for dinner. Mm-hmm. And so they like we're on a boat, and he like dove. And he like had a harpoon. Yeah, he just comes back in. There's an octopus wrapped around his head. He's like, "Help me! <laughs> the octopus has gotten me." He shot him. <laughs> apparently, he shot <laughs> the him. octopus. <laughs> he is having his way with my skull. <laughs> apparently, he, oh, yeah. he shot mm-hmm. the octopus, and then he like resurfaces out of the water. He's like. Guys, I am a liar. I have never done this <laughs> before. <laughs> I am a liar. He's like crying. Yeah. And then he has this like... He just rides away on a unicycle. So like because of like office. their brain is like all over something, it takes forever to kill them. Yeah. So he has this like octopus on a harpoon. And then like and these like, like God these it. four lads... Where the hell are my Funko Pops? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they were just French like, bastard. They had to like beat the octopus against a rock yeah, you because it like wouldn't die. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and they were like, "This is the." It was like, like they committed murder. It was yeah. like the most brutal thing they'd ever done. But yeah. they, like at that point, they wanted to like take it out of. Well, that's misery. how I felt when I came in here and this baby mice attached to a fucking glue trap. What? And I text you about it, and you're like, "Just throw it in the garbage." Yeah, he's an asshole. I mean, not the. There's no comparison. All right, let's reopen the mouse issue. Well, not that. Uh, the Holocaust. You're going to yes. go Holocaust. Yeah, okay. Okay, hmm. Nice move. Even the Nazis were like, let's figure out the most efficient and fastest way to do this. Yeah, okay. They weren't like, let's just put glue traps down in Poland. Yeah, because you can't. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> The bank's only going to be open for another two hours. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. This is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. Somebody help. This is horrible. I'm ripping my skin off. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. It's so funny. And then his wife's like, Mort, just let go of your wallet. <laughs> I've always thought about who the, the fr- joke being he would be free. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was stuck. <laughs> I'm trapped. <laughs> Your Mort entire just body is free. <laughs> Mort, just let go of the no. <laughs> It's very funny. It's anti-Semitic. <laughs> I've always thought about who like the first guy was to die in the Holocaust. Mm-hmm. 
Like the guy that was like waiting in line for the train and just being like, hey, how long is this? Yeah. Well, that's how I feel. I probably brought it up yeah. before, but like, remember how when the vaccines came out? Yeah. And they had the vaccine cards and then like people started faking the vaccine cards. There were like two or three people that got arrested uh -huh. for like using fake vaccine cards. And they had to have thought they're like, we're all in this together. I'm the first martyr, but they can't stop thousands of us. Like the I'm Spartacus and then no one else. Yeah. Says that. And they're just yeah. they're the only morons that fucking yeah. made it out of crayon. Exactly. You know, yeah. like the. Yeah. Yeah. Here's my vaccine card. You got to you, you got to feel like the dumbest motherfucker in the world. Yeah. yeah. Those cards had to have been so sloppy. Yeah, really bad. They had to have been really bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Misspelled. He yeah. misspelled his own name. Yeah. Yeah. It just says Dr. Fauci on the top. <laughs> Prescription from Dr. Fauci, one vaccine for the fake virus. Yeah, yeah. And they're handing that over at the airport. Yeah. One ticket to Disneyland, One please. ticket to Guantanamo, more like it, huh? Yeah. What happened to Gitmo? They still got boys down there? Yeah. Yeah. They're still dressing them up like witches and making them wear the dunce cap and... I think that was at Abu Hirab. Abu Hirab. Abu Ghraib. Abu Ghraib. Rude of them to name it. Give it. I uh, think we talked about this on the show before. Who cares? Well, not rude. It's just very funny to open up a CIA black site torture prison and then be like, let's call this the Ronald Reagan CIA. And they're like, well, it's disrespectful of local culture. <laughs> we're going to keep the name. Yeah. Get, yeah. Don't, we don't want to erase anybody's culture Come on. when we're in here. Torturing. Fucking putting a, a car battery yeah. up someone's ass. I remember as uh, early, like, because, you know, we were kids when those pictures came out. But I remember there was a girl soldier that had, like, a cigarette in her mouth, and she was, like, pointing at a guy's dick. Yeah, what's her name? And I was like, oh, I didn't know Lin girls. Lindy, Lindy West. Yeah. I didn't know girls were mean also. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're probably the worst. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know girl soldiers also mm -hmm. do the torture. Now I have to pee also. How far are we into this crap? We're like 11 minutes in, dude. We're good. We're good. We're doing fine. I can hold it for another. Ian finances. Don't, we don't need to respond to Ian. There's no way it's urgent. Hey, dude, just thinking about you. Yeah, he said, dude, I'm literally on the, cra on the train crying and remember remembering when you called me Chuck E. Cheese, man. <laughs> <laughs> literally, that's always it. Yeah. You'll never get an urgent text from Ian. It's kind of nice. That was a nice text. Yeah. It was funny when I said that. Yeah. Yeah. Ian lives in a perpetual state of emergency. Yeah. So. What do you think is brain? Every, every is time, like, he'll text you at 2 a.m. like, just having a cheese wheel, wish you were here with me. Is his brain I'm like, having a couple of baby bells, and I thought it would be great if you could peel the wax off one of them. His we brain is probably like uh, Toontown from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah. But then As opposed like to Toontown from what? Star Wars, Adam? As opposed to... Mm, no, as, that, oppo as opposed... That's actually called the Cantina. As thing. opposed to a, a different... Han shot first. As opposed to a different Toontown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was that supposed to be like a, uh, a racist pun? What? Toontown? Yeah. Like 100%. A, yeah. Yeah. Well, the like movie where the blacks live. The movie, well, the Chinese. The uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is just Chinatown. Yeah, it's a noir. Yeah, we've discussed those like great lines. Yeah, but it is Chinatown. Like the it plot is, of yeah, the movie yeah. is Chinatown. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, you hear they're uh, rebooting it, but they're making Jessica Rabbit uh, less sexy. Oh, really? No. Lizzo is playing Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> 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 She's just completely naked the entire movie. <laughs> she never has any. Clothes. And all the cartoons are like, ah, woo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's wearing Crocs and she's, humming a, humming a, she's wearing Crocs and a helmet, and then the rest of it's a helmet with a tiny dress <laughs> painted on the front. <laughs> Lizzo looks stunning in the new Roger Rabbit movie. Lizzo stuns. She stuns as Jessica Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Come yeah. on, Roger. <laughs> I love that movie. So good. I recently rewatched the Wallace and Gromit, at least the first two. You love Wallace and Gromit. I love Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, it is. It's really fucking funny. You like it because he's such a loser? Is that right? Well, it's, it's funny. It's it just, is funny. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of really funny stuff in there. Yeah. Like when Gromit's sitting downstairs. Let's recap Wallace and Gromit. When Gromit is sitting downstairs reading the newspaper. 
or maybe he's going through the mail. I think it's the one where it's his birthday. And he's going through the mail. And then a buzzer goes off, like, and, 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 you know, a light on the mm -hmm. wall, right? To imply that Wallace is ready for breakfast. And then it cuts to Wallace in bed. And, you know, there's a buzzer going off. So you would think that he hit a button that made the buzzer go off. But then we see Wallace in bed, and he's just pressing the button. Mm -hmm. Like he's he's keeping the tempo of the mm -hmm. of the so he's just annoying. Mm -hmm. He's annoying. He's annoying. It would already be annoying if he just was demand. He had a service button and a buzzer went off, but that he's fucking pressing it over. That just makes me fucking howl. You like it that the dog has the power. The dog doesn't really have the power. And then the line is he goes, "It's your turn for breakfast today, Gromit." Because <laughs> they're poor. <laughs> <laughs> Implying that they take turns fucking uh, pulling a lever that puts his clothes on for him <laughs> and seats him at the, uh, you know, the breakfast table. Yeah, that was very funny. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, he's just the laziest guy in the world. Where'd you get that lucky strike hat? Somebody brought it to a show. And also, I'm, I'm devastated, but I was at the Milwaukee Improv this weekend. It was a lot of fun. Very nice people. Very nice people in Milwaukee. I, I, when I was in Milwaukee, I remember the crowd was really nice. Yeah, yeah, very nice people. And some guy brought me a coal miner's wife hat, which mm -hmm. I had that you shit on. I didn't shit. I vomited you on it. You threw up all over I it, vomited. whatever, and I lost that hat. And he heard that, and he brought me the hat. And I was like, oh, my God, that's so sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I went into the office to settle up with the manager, and I left it on the, I fucking forgot it on the, like a coffee table. So I lost that hat. I, I lost my hat uh, last week when I was on the road, too. I lost my Yankee fitted. Yeah. Somebody brought me this, though. I got to get a freshie. I got this Lucky Strike bucket hat. Sick, dude. Sigs? Yeah. It's nice. I'll wear literally any clothes anybody brings me, I'll wear. Yeah. Yeah. If I don't forget them at the club. That Bart Simpson, the black Bart shirt I have. Yeah. Some girl in Chicago just brought that to the show. Yeah. It's, I was... Remember seeing you wear it for the first time? I'm like, that's peculiar. That Nick. yeah, it's one of four or five shirts I own. I think you have four shirts. Yeah, yeah. four shirts. The black you have the Gian Famous Foods. Yeah, which I'm wearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's torn. It's full of holes. You have that. I have this one. You have a comedy knockout. To cut another free item. Another free shirt. <laughs> From a, from a true TV show that you wrote on? And yeah. people used to make fun of me at work for wearing the shirt that they really? handed out. They're, they're like you're wearing the band t-shirt Yeah, I'm wearing the, the band t-shirt, but it's like, yeah, I'm wearing the free clothes. I'm eating all the fucking goddamn candy in the break room. I'm doing zero work. It's like, look, you guys don't hire black people here, so I'm going to be the black guy at the show. It's, it, all right. It's somebody has to be... I don't know if that's... <laughs> <good. laughs> I think it's an attempt at making a... <laughs> A woke point. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Is is uh, is that form of of of? Oh uh, yeah, no. The funniest character. That's the best. The best character of all is somebody that's trying to do the right thing, and they end up making everything worse. Dolzo. What's that? Dolzo. Yes. She's she is. It was the perfect troll. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't trying to troll. Mm -hmm. She was also, like, she was working for the NAACP. She was trying to, like, help people. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's, like, yeah. the ultimate move for her. If, you know, if, you know, she can't sell the calendars anymore and the hair braiding business dries up, is to get some, to do 60 Minutes interview, actually, I'm Chinese. Actually, I've, She transitions. I, I thought I was black, but it turns out I'm Chinese. That's, that's the move. Yeah. Or that's Italian. Honestly, that would be the best. She probably is. Just her on 60 Minutes, and so she's got an accordion and a little monkey on her shoulder. <laughs> she's like, I've figured out who I was uh, the whole time. I'm so sorry to the blacks. Yeah. I was confused. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we've said it before, but the best thing about that troll, the best troll is something that pisses off both sides. I'm reusing the joke, but I, I called a lady, R Rachel Dolazagna, on Twitter one time, because mm -hmm. it was an Italian lady. That's good. Yeah, yeah, describing herself as POC. D that's good. Yeah. Dole lasagna. Rachel Dole lasagna. That's pretty good. And she was very mad. I guess you have mutual friends. I heard about it. Yeah. Through mutual friends. You used to be really, like, you used to really be good at driving women insane. Oh. Now I'm good at nothing. No, no, but that, when, too many when ear, that was your focus. Too many ear infections. When you were going at fucking, not that Sadie, 
with the Dr. Evil meme. Oh, that I didn't was, even think it was going to be that big of a deal. That was one of the funniest things <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Just a picture of Dr. Evil that said, Rawr. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> like 24 hours. Just, just continuously <laughs> posting the doctor. <laughs> right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, that is, you know, it's nice to look back and just be like, those were the day. Those were good days. Yeah. What are you having for uh, lunch after this? What are you thinking? I don't know. I'm going to uh, Brian's going to come by and then we're going to go watch Arsenal. That's fun. How's Brian doing? He's good. He just got back from Europe. You'll, he's going to come by here. Oh, good. You'll see him. Yeah, well, I might have to run over to Urgent Care pretty quick. Oh, Brian and I can go with you. All right. He can DJ. You guys can carry me in. Dude, he told me the funniest... they're like, what's wrong with him? Oh, his ear hurts. He's a, he told me the funniest <laughs> thing when I was like... Because he's he DJs. Yeah. So I was like, um, yeah, I feel like um, sometimes you go to a club, like the Saturday Late Show, you know, gets unruly. And then you're like, am I just like an activity, like... Are they choosing between this and mini golf? And I'm telling myself it's art. Yes. Am I just like entertaining yeah. drunk people? Yes. And then he goes, well, he's like, well, I'm playing the soundtrack for drug overdoses and sexual assaults. So yeah, I guess it's probably not as bad. As That's not a very high bar to set, though. He's comedian, placing comedian higher than DJ, which is quite. Well, what, he, what I'm saying is like, oh, and at the end of the day, are we just entertaining drunk people? He's like, well. What he's doing, has, there's even worse stuff. I mean, I guess no one's getting finger popped at, at a, yeah. uh, I gotta figure out, I gotta at start a doing, Saturday Late Show. It really takes like effort to go find something fun to do during yeah. the day after, especially if you do Friday, Saturday shows. Because Friday, you know, you travel in and like, you know, I don't know about you, but like I spend the entire day thinking about it. I don't, like, I'm not necessarily worried about the show, but like thinking about it. Like, you know, I wanna do this, I hope it goes well, you know. And then, you know, you're li out late Friday, and then you wake up, what, fucking 11 a.m. Saturday? And yeah. then it's like, okay, well, I have to start worrying about the show in two hours to go find something to do. Yeah. And uh, and then you walk around some random city. And then, and then yeah, very something. I had, honestly, I had yeah. my weekend nearly ruined in Milwaukee because I went to a restaurant. <laughs> and what? I, I don't know. I'm just guessing what's about the... Well, there was a 45-minute wait. And that's... <laughs> What? You're, you're more Jewish than I am. You're literally more Jewish than I am. That's the most hurtful thing you've ever said. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I wasn't trying to hurt you. But and you, to do it on the show. You get mad at customer service. You hate waiting. <laughs> I don't get mad at customer service. <coughs> I just say, well, I'll take my business. The Keurig, <laughs> the Keurig machine. <coughs> the Keurig machine. I have not spoken to customer service once. The Keurig machine that we bought for $40 at Costco. You've made Dave go through Let me put a, it this way. a two month customer return only policy with the corporate headquarters of Keurig. Only one of us remembers the price. <laughs> How much was it? You, you just said it. I guessed $40. How much? It wasn't 200 bucks. A Keurig? For a Keurig, it's not even good coffee. Yeah, Keurig is really the Dyson of coffee makers. It's it's crap. Yeah. No, Dyson is like tech. You know, Dyson sucks, dude. I have a, I got the, one of the V. Nespresso is, is got, a nicer. <coughs> I got the V10 Dyson years ago because I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get really into cleaning, you know. Was that the stick? It's the stick. The stick and is nice. No, it, they, immediately this thing was a piece of shit. Really? And uh, yeah, the, like, the fucking the bin like just breaks like right away. Like so it doesn't stay on when you take it off. The whole thing falls into the fucking garbage. And then, um, then like the grommet on the, like, you know, I've had it five years, so it's out of warranty. The grommet on the back of the thing, that ripped off. So I had to replace the canister and the fucking actual vacuum. Just get it at Costco and then return it, dude. Yeah, well, I didn't get it at Costco. Now I know. But um, what I found out was you can just go to Dyson's website and like the, <clears throat> the actual vacuum body, it was like 70 bucks. And then the canister was in like, I paid $100 for the canister and the vacuum body. And I think, I didn't have to price it out, but you could just go order replacement parts from Dyson and save like $200 on the actual vacuum. On like what, the retail? You can build it yourself just buying replacement parts. And it's not parts. even building, it's just putting two things yeah, together. Yeah, putting two screws in, it's easy. I was shocked. And welcome back to Nick's Deal Quarter. <laughs> Yeah. 
You're obsessed with the Holocaust. Uh huh. Much like we are. That's it? That's all you got? No, I mean, that I'm, I saved I'm building money, a case. That I saved money on a vacuum? Um, you've saved money on a vacuum. And I'm obsessed with the Holocaust. Yeah, we're obsessed with the Holocaust, too. I don't have fucking allergies. Yes, you do. You have ear allergies right That's, now. But not... You didn't take a Claritin D like I did. Claritin... How about Claritin double? Oh, right. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <coughs> this has been a fun one for me. I don't know about the audience. I'm having fun. I'm having weird. a good one. No, yeah, the audience loves it. I can I can imagine right now. Yeah. Yeah. The audience Why do loves they spend all this money on a set? <laughs> the, the audience loves everything that we do. That's my perception of things. Is that they think, wow, <laughs> you really nailed, hit it out of the park with this one again, guys. Yeah. That's it. In my mind, that's every comment. Dude, they're, the comments are so nice. They are nice. The comments are, they really keep us going. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. We love it. Definitely love the feedback. The feedback is, Yeah. keep it coming. Yeah. The only bad feedback around here is when fucking microphone gets too close to the speaker. That's the only kind of bad feedback we got. That's nice. <coughs> yeah. At the Adam Friedman show. Yeah. I got four boxes of peanut butter puffins off the internet. I love, that's my favorite cereal. It's everyone's favorite cereal. Okay, well, it's... Mm. Don't try to personalize that. As you go to a grocery store, it's always sold out. Yeah, so I love it too. Yeah, we all love it. Okay, Don't everyone turn this into a it. Christopher Nolan Batman thing. What? <laughs> Remember that? Fucking in 2010, people would be like, I actually really love the Christopher Nolan Batman. Yeah, The Dark Knight is actually yeah. a, a great film. Oh, really? You yeah. like that? Yeah. That's, wow. That's, I've never heard anyone say that they like that movie before. So you're being what, like a hipster right now? I'm not being a hipster. You are being a hipster. No, they're being hipsters. You're but. being a hipster. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like me saying, I love Christmas, and you're being like, everyone loves Christmas. Everyone dude. loves you Christmas. You can't say you love Christmas. Everyone loves Christmas. Yeah, Christmas is a great thing that everyone no, loves. It would be like saying, you know, Die Hard is my favorite Christmas movie. Yeah, that, that, that was the one. Yeah. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back on. I'm going to... you got to really, take your Twitter back I'm from Kyla. I'm really into Sir, this is a Wendy's. you gotta, you got to be doing at replies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. you got to really bring back... I'm going to open the account Wendy's Dog. <laughs> and then I'm just going to bar- bark in people's mentions whenever they say something woof, where, woof. where you would say. I think so this is people um, speculated that the racism dog was me. Was, no, was that, do you remember there was that like leftist account that was like, I'm queer or something. And it turned out that they were trying to get like uh, nudes from like... Uh, Underage girls or something. Bernie Sanders? No, not. Come on, Tom. I'd love. I'd really love to see a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Sanders in hot water this week after DMs leak. <laughs> really, <laughs> so funny. Yeah, he sent self-facing videos. He has him. to be the least romantic guy on earth. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine him like trying to like lay lay some. Uh, yeah. Spit it's some game. A picture of him in winter sitting and he's wearing uh, two eight-year-olds on his hands. Instead of mittens. Yeah. His hands are in their in their, Yeah, in them. Yeah. I call these Vermont mittens. The kind of mittens we have in Vermont. <laughs> it's made by my son. <coughs> made in the USA. Yeah. Union. Talks like Yogi Berra. Can I see the... Yogi Berra? Yeah. We should go to Yankees games this season. No, was, that guy was just good at saying things. Yogi Berra? Yeah. What, what, were, what were his sayings? I don't know. There used to be like, a, like books of them. He said he would say all this Let's see shit. if they were actually good. There was, the famous one is nobody goes there anymore. It's too crowded. I thought, please take my wife. What? Take my wife, please. No, that's uh, Benny, uh, Benny Johnson. Benny Johnson. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yogi Bear. And he was the catcher? He was the mascot for the New York Jews. <laughs> Back when that was the name of the team. <laughs> did you catch the Did you catch the Jews game today? He was, he was a bear covered in glue traps. <laughs> Let's see a brainy quote. Uh, if you don't know where you're going, you might wind up someplace else. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like what jokes used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Very dry. 
That's not bad, I guess. Now we get, we do wet jokes on the Adam Friedland show. Yeah, we do fucking this is some, with some wet dripping ass jokes. In theory, there's no difference between theory and practice. In practice, there is. That's just schizophrenia. That's just, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, this guy just existed before they had fucking antipsychotics. It ain't the heat, it's the humility. Yeah. So, he meant to say humidity? The most famous is the, the Oscar Gamble. Uh, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Remember that one? Say it again. The Oscar Gamble's, uh, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. What it do? They don't think it, oh, damn, now I'm getting really dizzy. They don't. Th You're going to be all right, dude. I'll be fine, I know. I just need to get my ears, my ears lubed. Maybe Base I'm a robot, dude. You're not, dude. You're, you're an organic vessel that's falling apart. I hate that. Baseball is 90% mental. The other half is physical. That's funny because it's, it's more than 100%. Yeah. Um, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. Sweet, dude. You better cut the pizza in four pieces because I'm not hungry enough to eat six. That's kind of funny. That's like I a fat it, guy. Fat guy. When I worked at, at both Domino's and Papa John's, I loved cutting the pizza. You loved it? Yeah. Did you try to get them as even as possible? Yes. Yeah. And you get real fast at it. How close did you get? Uh, almost perfect every Almost time. perfect every time. Yeah. It is really sad. As shitty as that job is, it's really satisfying when you make a perfect pizza. Yeah. 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 What, what is required for it to be perfect? No bubbles. It's even, even crust. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how does the, you get the dough? I told you that story about the manager, that guy um, who burned down his apartment complex because he fell asleep playing PlayStation. I think you did. And then, yeah. and then called me and the only other driver three hours after we were supposed to open to let us know that he saved his PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> but that guy... Really funny, a fat, fat skateboard shoe guy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he would wear, he would wear his pants and tuck his shirt in, but then the pants would Dickies? he'd sag them. Dickies. I think like these, like fucking. I mean, whatever. But you know, yeah. work, if you were, especially if you work inside at a pizza restaurant, I think like a lot of the guys, like nobody, will, you just have your clothes for work, mm -hmm. so they're just disgusting. You know, wash them yeah. like once a week, but they're covered in sauce and same shirt every yeah, day, starting at the beginning of the day. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, this guy was always just, like, kind of disgusting. But you watch that guy toss out a, a, a piece of dough, and it was like, I mean, Virtuoso. it was like watching fucking ballet. It yeah. was, yeah, it was insane. One time Wait, so you could spin? Can you spin? I can spin it, but, you know, just briefly. This guy, I, I swear to God, I don't know, I still don't understand the physics of it. He was talking to me, he's like, oh, yeah, we're going to need you to come in. And then he spins the pizza, yeah. right, and it's spinning. And then as it's spinning, he takes his finger away, and, like, a doggy paddles one edge. And then, like, He's comes unbelievable. Yeah, it comes back to the center. Yeah. yeah. And, but while talking to me about some other unrelated thing, he spins it. He would do, like, a little twirl. <laughs> he would, like, twirl under the pizza also. He, it was very <laughs> graceful. When he, only in the context of making pizza, he had these moments of, like, just mm -hmm. pure beauty. He's done his 10,000 hours. Well, you know? well, literally everything is art, I guess. Yeah. You can find transcendence in anything. We live in a beautiful world. Yeah. We do live you in just need to, You just need to know where to find You just it. need to look. Those very yeah. humans of New York. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. That was the biggest thing in the world for a while. They loved it. Just a guy going up to retarded people being like, so, what, are you retarded and you live in New York? And they're like, yep, my parents left me on the steps of a church. And mm -hmm. now I no eat, one wants me. Now I eat rats out of the garbage can outside of McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And then post to Instagram. And, and they say, you are beautiful. Yeah. People would comment. Yeah, right. <laughs> you are beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> You're not a freak that we're gawking at. Please to come to Mumbai, sweetie yeah, girl. Please let me kiss your homeless body. <laughs> let me kiss <laughs> Please, sweetie girl. Let me have so much sex with your body. <laughs> uh, everyone's a target, right? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's a fucking target. I tell you, the target was well, not a target anymore. It's a target in San Francisco. You, for the last monologue, Nick no, made no, no, me no. sit there for 40 minutes while he was trying to figure out a joke about how all the items in the San Francisco target are under lock and a key. Yeah. And we got nothing on that one. Well, I sing it. Lock and Key, Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> Is that a San Francisco reference? Um, no, but 
Lock and Key, Hobbs and Shaw, Fast and Sherlock Furious. and Watson. Mm -hmm. It's maybe it's under Sherlock and Rizzoli and, and Isles. I have to say, if key you really wanted peel. black people to stop stealing those items, instead of Lock and Key, you should be putting it under Key and Peel, mm -hmm. and then they'll respect it. That's pretty good. Yeah, you know. I, I don't think that's that's not bad. Lock and um, Lock and uh, Pop and Lock. Pop and Lock. Why are they putting it under Lock and Key and not? Pop and lock. Yeah. If it was dancing. What if try it to, was Try dancing? to steal a razor that's dancing all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Our brains are decaying rapidly. Yeah, I think this ear infection has gone to my fucking Let's go, go to the fucking doctor right now. No, we, we still got... Uh, Dave, we still have what? Another four and a half hours? Yeah, five. Five hours? Five minutes? You know what, guys? No, no, no. But no, we'll, you got to go to the doctor. I will, but we can. We, there's one more topic. What we if have you to pass discuss. out in this next five minutes? I'm not gonna pass out. Trust me, dude. You don't seem like you're doing well. So I'm fine. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Uh, we got another. The biggest story this week is coming to you live from Yahoo.com. Yahoonews.com. Um, latest news and headlines. Three TSA agents hurt after unprovoked attack. And um, the agency said three officers were injured in an unprovoked and brazen physical attack by a passenger during a security screening at Phoenix's airport. Phoenix, one of the worst airports in the country. Is it? The, yeah, I'd mm -hmm. say so. Mm -hmm. um, Salt Lake City, terrible airport. Three trans you TSA agents so were hurt far. Tuesday in an unprovoked attack by a passenger at a security checkpoint. I saw an unprovoked brave physical attack against the police. A 19-year-old woman was arrested in book without incident. Oh, there's no details. Okay. So some lady beat them up. Um, damn. Well, what's the, what's the big story? Uh, I'm just reading Yogi Berra's quotes. There's some really good ones. Oh, this one's good. It's like deja vu all over again. Woman sneaks into Columbia University's surf and turf event, reflects on the institution's hypocrisy and treatment of low-income students. Mm. I wish I had Cooney, uh, SUNY had Columbia. I wish Cooney, SUNY had Columbia money. So she didn't even go there? Yeah, she snuck in. And she got, did she get surf and turf? What um, was the spread like? Do they talk about it? What started off as a harmless ruse soon turned into an eye-opening look into the hypocrisy of this whole place. Yo, you know, I had an idea, Nick. Damn, look at all that fucking shrimp. Damn. No, you missed. Look at that. Wow. That is a good spread. That's amazing. That is a great spread. Dude, we should go to Colombia. We got to go to Colombia. Just for the shrimp. You know what I was thinking? A lot of late night shows have a band. Mm -hmm. You know what we should have? Um, a gun. No, yes, but not. Instead of a band, we should have a spin art guy with a chef's hat, prime rib carving station. Yeah, or just a Benny Hanna chef. And then we <laughs> yeah, we'll be back in a moment with Melissa Joan Hart. Yeah, and go wide and we, yeah. If we had a hibachi, yeah. yeah, just a guy tossing shrimp all over the fucking room. <laughs> that'd be great. That'd be yeah, awesome. Just throw it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I, when I was a kid, I thought that was. The coolest can, thing. Is there a Benny Hanna in New York? Do you want to go to that? There probably is. In we Queens. Queens has everything. Yeah. We're going to look it up. Peens. Peens. <laughs> <laughs> they said Queens. I said, sign me up. And then they said Peens. And I said, even better. Dude, West 56th Street. Dude, we, 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 there's a Benny Hanna's. They got this very place, close. Benny Hanna. I've been there and he had a bad day and fucking threw the shrimp in my ass. Yeah. I bet he I, I bet he had a bad day fucking <laughs> for sure to trim my ass. <laughs> That's good. Larry would say that. Yeah. Larry I love I love Larry that. the Cable Guy puns. Because when you barely pronounce it, it's like how Eminem rhymes. You just turn anything into a pun. Don't bring Eminem into this. Dude. Why? Because he's he's operating on a higher He's not like Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Marshall the black guy? Marshall the, yeah, the black guy. Yeah. We should get, we have Eminem coming on the show. We should retract that. 
Yeah, I don't want to take shots at celebrities anymore. Yeah, we're except emotional. for Alec Baldwin. We're not taking shots. We said that Alec Baldwin did premeditated murder <laughs> in the last episode. By the way, folks, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtubecom Tafs. T a f s. And uh, we have a new episode with Andrew Ray from Binging with Babish. Um, that's people are calling. People are calling. Good. I'm gonna take these home with me. Why? Because I'm worried somebody's gonna steal them. I know. It, they do come off easy. Yeah. No, but these aren't. I'm just not strong enough. Mm -hmm. Nick, go to the doctor. Hello, boys. Dude, what if? Yeah. Welcome to Delta Airlines. If you see... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Delta Airlines. Please don't speak Arabic in the bathroom. <laughs> This wow. Is a, this is a non-smoking flight. Hello, nurse. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been with a, a chick with a, with pointies like that? Um, like this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't even pay attention. Eyes up here, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, your tits fell. Oh no. Um, anyway, Nick, go to the doctor. I'll go to the doctor. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me, playboyer. Um, guys, it's been another great episode. I'm in Portland this weekend. Nicholas is going to the doctor. Um, thanks being, for joining us. Pittsburgh Improv. Come on. Pittsburgh Improv. Please come to Portland this weekend. If you don't live in Portland, get a flight and uh, buy a ticket to the show. <laughs> Maybe buy an extra ticket. Um, so I'm a, we'll I'm a tickets. sleepy boy today. I'll tell right. you. No, we had a fun one. No, no, definitely. I had fun. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I always have fun on the Adam Friedland show. Me too, brother. Retro style podcast. And Dave?